So it's been interesting to see uh, what the reviews have been like for Kamaka. It just uh, opened at the Toronto Fringe. We got some great reviews saying that the play was entertaining and delightful. And um, one that said the play was uncomfortably real, which I really liked. But then one reviewer was really funny because uh, he said, uh, there's a warning that there's like homophobia and, um, in this play. And I just thought that was interesting because the play itself is about homophobia and sexism and racism. And the interesting thing is you can't really present those things. You can't really talk about why those, it, 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 you don't know why those issues are important unless you actually see the homophobia and the racism and the sexism on stage. And I think we kind of live in a bubble. In Hamilton, we're a little bit outside the bubble. Like there's a sense that uh, I think people are a little bit more open about their um, homophobia and their racism and their sexism sometimes. But in Toronto, it's a real bubble and people really do are politically correct and they kind of hide um, some of the real stuff that goes on. And of course, in Russia, which is what the what Kamaka is about, um, the government has instituted some homophobic uh, measures saying that you can't advertise being gay. And it, it's really given people a lot of license to um, beat up gay people and to abuse them and to not hire them and all that kind of thing. Um, and so the work really is uh, part of the uncomfortable reality of the work, is looking at uh, how this kind of works. And one of the things that happens in the play is we actually refer to Rob Ford because we think it's really important that uh, when, I, when I was working the play with Yuri, and Yuri is uh, on Kamanka, Yuri is uh, from Russia, and he was, uh, gave me a lot of the source material and gave us all his creators, because the cast uh, created it with, with me and Yuri. Uh, Yuri gave us a lot of the material about Russia, um, and, that, and, and when I talked to him about it, I wanted to make sure that it wasn't about demonizing Russia, like it wasn't about saying, Russia, it's horrible in Russia, and here we are in Canada, everything's great, and of course things are better in Canada for sure. But I think one of the things that's uncomfortably real about the show is that there's a couple of gay characters in the show, and one of them is in the closet, and he's a dentist, and he thinks he's going to hurt his practice by coming out. And believe it or not, in Canada, it's still an issue for gay men whether or not they're out or not, right? And um, it's, uh, and of course, yes, they're not going to be, there's no, you know, you, there's no law saying you can't advertise being gay, but there's still very subtle ways in which homophobia works. I mean, I know because of this in the entertainment industry, because I know, because I started doing theater, and I know there's a lot in Toronto called Plays in Bad Times many years ago. And, uh, you know, I, I know for sure that a lot of gay actors stayed away from that theater, gay actors, because they were afraid of being identified as gay, and it's still happens, right? Um, I had a, fr a friend of mine went to New York, uh, Gavin Crawford, who's acted in a number of my plays, sorry, he went to LA and he tried to get an agent in LA and the LA agent said, this is a couple of years ago, but not very long ago, said, um, take all the gay stuff off your resume. And the agent who told him to do this was gay, right? So that's within the theater industry, within the, I don't like to call it an industry, but in the theater form, and within the entertainment industry there is this um, homophobia still, and of course it's, it's still out there in the culture. So. It's very important, you, you can't sort of just talk about something and not know that it, not actually see it in action. And, and, and also it's very dramatic too, because the play you know, kind of has, has good guys and bad guys, uh, Kamanka very much so. Uh, not all my plays do, but in this play you really get to see the people who are trying to uh, live without racism and sexism and homophobia. And I say the three together because they don't always go together, but quite often they do. I think Rob Ford's a very good example. So you, you just find situations where people are, uh, are all those things at once quite often. Um, so that's, uh, and that, that's kind of what my work is about. And I think in, in, the interesting thing about doing the work in Hamilton, as I say, is that people are a little bit more frank because of the working class culture. I think they're a little bit more frank about these issues and they're a little bit more open about them and they don't hide them as much. Now, I don't think that means that working class people are more sexist, racist, sorry to go through that trilogy again, and homophobic, but it does mean that they're a little more honest about it. And I, I think it also, uh, uh, also offers, excuse me, uh, the opportunity to talk about it more openly and that's what I'm really look, looking forward to in Hamilton.